Hey guys, I really hate that I'm missing you today. I wish that we were all together able to discuss these stories, but we are not because it snowed again. But I remember last week you guys saying that you really didn't get out and play in the snow much because of the freezing rain. So there's no freezing rain right now. So your assignment for today, get outside and play if you can. Throw some snowballs, make some snow angels, have some fun. So, okay, so I just wanted to tape a little bit about what we were supposed to do today so that you don't become behind from get behind from the other class. Um, so from what I'm hearing is that really no one liked the Ransom of Red Chief. Um, so I'm really excited to hear your thoughts about that. Um, why? You know, did you guys like it? Maybe this class liked it, the other class did not. So why? The other class said that it was more slow moving than the other stories, that the other stories, they liked the fact that the climax came at the end um, in the other stories, and that wasn't the case for this one. So I wanted to hear what your thoughts were. Um, but this week you're going to get into Lamb to Slaughter, and I'm hoping you guys like this one more. Um, so, okay, now is the time that we are going to start writing your short stories, and I'm so excited. So I sent out an email to your parents this week saying that you needed three ideas for short stories. Very different ideas, you know. And that may be kind of scary, like, how am I going to come up with three ideas? Okay, well, I'm going to help you there. What I want you to do is go back over and think about all the stories you've read in the class. What one character really stuck out to you? Write about why. Why do you think that character, just make a list. You don't have to hand this in, just a list for yourself. Why did that character um, stick in your memory? Why do you like them the best? What qualities do they have? Even if they're good or bad, it doesn't matter what qualities kind of resonate with you. Then we're going to talk about setting. So which setting in each book, which setting in each short story work for you? Which one did you like the most? Remember, we talked about genre, right? So which genre genre is the type of literature? What genre did you like the most? Um, we've read from quite a few. So which one resonated with you the most? Okay, jot these ideas down. When you're sitting there jotting these ideas, these um, ideas about the past stories that we've read down, you may come up with a new story that is in line. Like your brain's always working on things even if you are not working on them. Did you know that? I think that's a pretty cool fact. So sometimes when I'm doing my writing, I have my ideas when I'm doing something completely different. So I'm hoping that'll happen to you here. Other way to find story ideas is to watch people. You know, when you go to the grocery store with your mom, or when you go to soccer practice, or dance, um, or gymnastics, watch what people do. Is there something interesting about someone that you could take on to make your main protagonist? Is there something someone is? Is there something that someone is doing that is would make them a good antagonist? So I want you to think about that. Just keep your eyes open. And I know I said in the email that I wanted. Um, a paragraph about each story. I don't need that. One or two sentences is fine and you're not even going to hand this in. We're actually going to discuss these in class and share ideas. Okay? Now get outside and have some fun if you can.